the American dream, a look at how one small business has gotten its survival gear on the shelves of major retailers in just one year. Today's Wall Street Journal profiles the entrepreneurs that accomplished a goal which takes most companies years to achieve. Wall Street Journal small business editor Wendy Bounds is here to discuss the secret to Pacific Pathways success. And these guys make the survival gear. Tell us first and then we'll show people some of these things. Sure. Like you said, it's a pretty amazing that in one year this small company has gotten on the shelves of Sears, Walmart, Costco, all the big players, which as you know can take a long time, if ever, for small businesses to do that. When I first kind of heard of this, I thought, it's just another couple of guys. It's just another couple of guys trying to bank off Hurricane Katrina with emergency gear and people being scared. But what they had done is they had solved a fundamental problem for retailers, which was with emergency preparedness gear, people tended to only buy it in an emergency or right after. So to keep it on the shelves all the time was really kind of a losing proposition. As a guy at Dillard's who's a top executive said to me, he says, you know, you don't want to bank on fear, but the problem is when there's not a problem, people aren't buying. So what they did, and you're going to show this, is they incorporated some everyday things into these items. Okay, I'm holding this one so right. camera five could take this. We can see. That's a six-in-one personal safety yeah, device. Okay. Now this six-in-one, now I'm going to show you, this is the hand crank. That crank no it. batteries. Right. Okay. Within this is a flashlight. Okay. It also goes on and off and on and off like that. There's a radio. Disco blast. <laughs> there is an antenna. There is a siren. There is a way to charge your cell phone right. and listen to your iPod. Not, uh, you can put your cell phone right into this, right. plug it in there. I actually was, uh, my battery was dead the other day, and I tried this, and I was able to crank it up enough to be able okay, to use gonna, it for the rest of the day. Here's the side thing. You put it in that, okay. in the adapter, right there. There you go. Okay. And you just crank. And so what they did, as you're seeing, is they put everyday life uses into an item that might otherwise have just been for emergencies. You would need to charge your cell phone any day of the week. Right. You might not need a siren. You might not need flashers. But they did that. And they did it with some of these other items, like this. take this backpack that you also have here in front of you. Right. They call it the Wings of Life backpack. I'm show now, usually, this a lot of places tell people that for emergencies, <laughs> they should shove a bunch of gear in a trash can and then have it in their garage ready to go. That's not that practical. Yeah. In this case, an everyday backpack backpack which they then have the wings the wings of life with a poncho with food that you a multi-tool food that you could um in water for yourself for three days yeah the goal is like if your child needs to carry so. books if you just need to go to work with that you can have that in an emergency you can zip on these wings okay, here's the water and the food take these the food are right meals ready to eat right and some of the water and, and there are a bunch of other things here, too. There's a knife in this side pocket right. that I saw. The knife is here. And it's interesting because you see the design is not something that's that sort of hardcore doom and gloom. This looks like a backpack you might just find in outdoor sporting goods stores. And other big retailers are following on this, too. You know, Home Depot has a home hero line of safety gear coming out with a fire extinguisher that kind of looks like a coffee thermos. And that's going to be coming out in the fall. Black & Decker came out with a battery charger. You know, your car battery. Who wants to go get jumper cables? This battery charger, you can just stick it in your glove compartment, put it in your cigarette lighter, and start it up. But these kids, these guys came up with right. this stuff. I and did, know, are they kids? I don't no, think they're, they're kids, okay. but what's a kid anymore today? Well, exactly. So, uh, kid at heart, I'll, but I'll they, take kid. they came up with this, and now they've got the shelf and space. They've got the shelf space, and I think how, how this shows. How did they do that? Well, like we're saying, they did solve this fundamental problem, which is they made things that are useful for every day. So a retailer can say, you know what, we'll sell this in March if nothing bad is happening. We'll sell this in April if something bad is happening. Got they it. kept it there. And think about the way this stuff looks. It's easy to use. It's pretty intuitive. And their packaging was key. They spent 15 to 20 cents more on packaging for this item in particular so that this crank would stick out. That's called try me packaging. It's something lots of small businesses should right. consider when they're trying to get into a new product category. There's you can go in. On the crank There's a compass well. on the crank. My but you goodness. can go in and test it and that means a store manager doesn't have to spend his precious time teaching you how to use it. And that was very important and they did that with this packaging too. You got small shelf space, limited time for your staffing and these guys solve this problem and it's something a lot of small businesses can do when they're trying to well, go into a stodgy category. I show you that. <laughs> anyway, thank you. That's a very interesting story. Pacific Pathways. Pacific Pathways. A very peaceful sounding name for survival. For, for survival, <laughs> that's right. Wendy Bounds of the Wall Street Journal. Thank you very much. Wow, those look cool. Yeah, really.